Richard the trucker. I want to go to break, but go ahead, Richard. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, uh, my uh, parents always had this, uh, tradition. We'd have, uh, one bowl with, uh, really good candy, like the Twizzlers and the, uh, Kit Kat and stuff like that. And then we'd have another bowl for the, uh, uh, downtown kids that were, uh, this is perfect. Oh, this is, thank you so much. This is next year's plan. I am getting a bowl with the good candy for the good little children and then the crappy candy. So bowl get, for the uh, inner city children and, that don't live in break, my neighborhood. You break out the crappy candy when it's someone that you know is going to tell others. Because remember when we were growing up, if, if a house was giving out the, the full size, let's say, Hershey bars, yeah, and, and you saw all your other friends from school in the neighborhood like, yo, go to house 36, they're yeah, giving they got out the, the big stuff. candy bars. But if you know it's uh, some kid that's not going to cause problem, you give the big Hershey bar. But if it's some kid that's going to, you know, rat you out that you, you, you got the cool candy, that's when you break out the cheap candy. Dude, yeah, Rick, Rick, Richard, what kind of candy did you have in the crappy bowl? Oh, oh, we we candy went down corns. To the, uh, no, no, not even that. Not even little candy boxes corn. of raisins. No. No, no, not even, not even. We went down and picked up that bulk candy, like those uh, little uh, gunk, those little uh, gumballs. <laughs> that took like twenty of them before you felt them in your mouth, and you, you could taste anything. And those the bad like, wrapped hard candy. And those stupid yeah, Mary exactly. Jane bars. Yeah, the oh. shit that nobody eats. eats. That's that what is great. What an idea. Nice, Richard. Genius. Why didn't I think of that?